Yeah, I'm, I'm also Nigerian though, so right. that's, that's how we Do you not have a citizenship there? No. no. Okay. Just one, I thought that was unique. He has Nigerian, yeah. Canadian dual yeah. citizenship. Yeah, Avian's been all over. When you watch back the tape of the game, uh, how did you critique yourself from last Friday? Um, I mean, there's a lot of things I got to work on. Some of the plays just got to be a little more patient on. But I was happy with uh, you know how how it worked out. You know, obviously the O line did amazing. As a team, we did a great job. Um, I'm not you know running for 52 yards if they're not doing good. So yeah, it was awesome. I asked Spencer if he slept well on the flight home, and he said no. He's scared of flying. I'm gonna guess you slept well. I mean, actually, I didn't sleep at all. I really? couldn't go to sleep. I was mad. I was mad. I usually sleep on flights the whole time, but I don't know. I was just up the whole time, so I was just like drinking Gatorade, and, uh, watching movies and stuff. Watch the game again. So that was good. What were you mad about? Um, wait, what, what did I say? I what? think he was mad he couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, okay, yeah I, was mad, I was mad I couldn't fall asleep. Okay. I was like in this position, and I was in this position, and I was just like, geez, like please just help me fall asleep. I look around, everyone else is just knocked out. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just stay up. I know it's it's after week one. It's not after the middle of the season or the end of the season, but to lead the nation in rushing, not very many people get to lead the nation in rushing any week at any time. Does that mean anything? I mean, it's week one. You know, can't really base anything off week one. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here without my team, obviously. You know, the O line, they did a great job. So, you know, it's props to them. Uh, that they did a great job. Um, I mean, I'm kind of over Oregon State, and last week, you know, they're a great opponent, but I'm on to the Knicks now. So. Do you realize, I mean, Bryce Bray over there said he started to feel comfortable when you came up to him before the game and said, hey, Bryce, it's just football. We do this every day. Spencer, the first thing he said about being comfortable was when you came up and said, hey, we're okay, this will be fun. And I mean, uh, how many guys did you talk to in comfort before the start of the game? <laughs> Um, I mean, I just try to talk to all my guys, you know, make sure they're ready. You know, everyone has jitters, especially the first game of the season, no matter if you're a senior, junior, whatever. So I just want to make sure, you know, everyone was good and, you know, we're all on the same page that, you know, let's just come out there strong. I got you, you got me. So, yeah. Coach Gundy talked about going back to that zone read offense and in the day and age where everybody talks about passing games. How nice is it to have a coach trying to build around the run game and utilize you guys? I mean, I think that we just have a we have a great old line and stuff, so we can utilize that. You know, obviously we can pass the ball. We have great receivers, uh, great QBs. So, you know, to to work on the run game, that's a that's a big thing because if you can do both, you know, you have to stop. How does that make you feel? They have a quarterback in Spencer who can kind of do both things. He can run with you guys. He can also air it out, like he showed last week. Yeah, Spencer is a very talented kid. Obviously, you guys saw firsthand. Um, I mean, he's been doing that all all uh, all camp. Same with Drew. They're both very talented. So, you know, it wasn't really a surprise for me. Uh, I'm happy for him. You know, he worked hard for it. So, yeah. Did you critique his hurdle? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I was like, damn. Uh, I was just did did my little run fake. Looked over, saw him in the air. I was like. Hey, bro, you might have to chill out with that. I mean, be careful a little bit. You get a little too high there, a little, a little, a little higher than I did. So watch out, and I'll play. But yeah, he he's a great athlete, so it's good for him. On a couple of occasions, Gunny has talked about how he can tell like you're you're really dialed in and more serious about football this year. What what have you been doing differently, like in in, in training that would that would cause Gunny to kind of point that out? I mean, ever since I got here, I could say say that I was dialed in, you know, I came here for a reason, you know, I didn't, didn't move to another country just to, you know, have fun and go to college. I came here to, you know, change my life, change my family's life. So this year, you know, I realized I was going to be in a bigger role. And I kind of, I can, I can admit that, you know, I kind of set back a little bit and, you know, kind of fell behind what I usually do. So this year, you know, I kind of, I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall back this year. You know, this is a year that, you know, big things can happen. My team needs me. So, you know, I just... I made sure I took care of the little things that, you know, last year I might have slipped up on some of that stuff. So, And like you guys said, I know it's only week one, but, you know, how does the game against Oregon State kind of help, you know, solidify, you know, the work that you've been putting in? I mean, it just shows, you know, we've been working hard all fall camp. We've just been waiting to waiting to play, um, waiting to come off that ball for that first snap. So, you know, we're happy with how it went. Um, I mean, it's in the past. It was a good team win. We've got a lot of stuff to work on, though. But, um, we'll be ready this week. So. What do you think of the progression of Mike and his coach? That Gundy said yesterday that he 
he's one of the biggest surprises. Yeah, when Micah first came here, he had a lot of work. You know, he had he had a lot, uh, a lot of work on. Um, you know, just with tempo and the offense, learning everything, and you know, it just shows. You know, when you work hard, you know, good things can happen. I always told him, you know, everyone gets a chance. I always believed in that. You know. No matter who you are, you're going to get a chance to play or a chance at something in life. So you just got to be ready when it comes. And, you know, he was ready. He's been doing a great job. He works hard. You know, one of the hardest workers I've seen out there. So, yeah, I'm happy. So. What, what clicks? Do you think is anything certain just kind of click with him? Or I mean, you just if you just keep running hard every <laughs> single play, you know, it'll soon come. Once you start to learn the offense and stuff, you know, you become more comfortable. And then you're actually able to, you know, run more freely. and you know, do what you want. So I think that's what happened with him. Yeah, I'm happy. You've seen Spencer up close for, for a while now. Go back to a year ago, last September. How much better is he now, more comfortable is he now? Um, you know, he's a great athlete, like I said. Um, I think for him it was really just learning the playbook and, you know, becoming comfortable in our offense. Um, I mean, when you have a guy like that, you can just throw him in and, you know, he can make stuff happen. But you know, making the right reads and stuff like that, you know, he got a lot better on that. So, you know, he worked his butt off. So, you know, he deserves everything that's coming to him. You, you went through the experience of red shirting. How beneficial can that year be in general? And do you think it, it made a big difference for him? Um, I mean, it's all about how you take it. You know, some people take a red shirt here and just be like, okay, I'm going to party. I'm not going to travel and stuff like that. I'll just do my red shirt lift and, you know, do what I want. But, you know, other people take it as, you know, I'm going to get better this year. So when my time comes next year, you know, I'm ready. And that's that's the difference between, you know, a redshirt starting uh, the year after and a redshirt just redshirting again, you know, for another year. So it shows, I mean, yeah. So how did you see that in Spitz? Or what kind of work did you see him put in last year? Um, he, you know, he worked hard. Don't get me wrong. He worked hard. And I think, I think a really good thing, you know, Drew was good for him. Drew is really good. Drew is a great leader. You know, you know they both work hard and they pushed each other. So, um, you know, we saw it every day in fall camp and you know and how they trained and stuff. And you know they're good for each other. And you know I think if you know they didn't have each other, it'd be different. But um, yeah, I'm happy. For them. You mentioned going and talking to guys, trying to calm them down before the game. Is that kind of leadership always something you've done, or is that kind of something as a veteran guy of this young group that you feel like you've had to step into that role? I mean, I feel like kind of like last year, I was kind of trying to do that to myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm usually always calm and cool, though. But this year, you know, I've been in these positions already, I felt. So I feel like, you know, these guys probably were how I was last year. So I just made sure that, you know, you're going to be OK and that, you know, you've worked hard. You've been playing football your whole life. So don't, you know, don't stress out too much. Bryce mentioned you gave him kind of a pep talk, Bryce Bray. What, what do you think of his progression? Um, great kid, uh, big boy. I mean, I love all my big boys on the O line. Um, yeah, he's worked hard. You know, you know, he had mistakes fall camp just like the rest of us. Um, but you know, he stuck with it, kept working hard, and you know, it's paid off for him. So I'm happy that he's doing good. What's it like to have that O line? You know, kind of. Gun, you talked about how they had the highest grade. What's it like to have them for their opening open up have opportunities for you to run too? Uh, I mean, it's good. I mean, you can see. I mean, anyone loves to run in big holes. So. Anyone loves that, so it was, it was awesome. Uh, I mean, those guys work, work hard. You know, all spring, all fall. You know, I give props to them. You know, when you're, when you're 300 pounds and you're doing stadiums, that's hard. So, yeah, I'm happy that you know it's it's showing. And yeah, they're a special group, so I'm lucky. That long run you had, were you looking for you know somebody to make miss or anything? You just... <laughs> I mean, I just saw it open up and I just, <laughs> I just hit it. You know. I'm blessed, you know, those guys are amazing, so I'm lucky for that. I mean, anyone could have ran down that. So. Just a couple more. We gotta let me you talked about moving here to change your family's life. What do you mean about that, Julie? I mean, I see my mom work hard her whole life. You know, we struggled and stuff throughout our lives. You know, my brothers and sisters, um, you know, I didn't come here just for me. I came here for them. So, you know, they're a big part of why I came here. And you know, I just I just want to make them proud and, you know, be able to take care of them at the end of the day. So, you know, that's that's a part of all of it. How many siblings do you have? Um, I got two older brothers and an older sister, so I'm the youngest. Yeah, I'm the baby. Do they also live in Canada? Yeah, all Canada. All Canada, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone you look up to playing, you know, watching play when you were younger? 
Um, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say this, but Adrian Peterson was, <laughs> that was my guy. I mean, just seeing him, he's like a workhorse, uh, explosive, and I, I remember I used to watch his highlights before every game. So, yeah. Thanks, guys.